In today's video, we are going to be talking about Madden NFL 20, my thoughts, my predictions, what are the things that I see happening, and what are the things that you want to make sure that you learn how to do before the game is released. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to take this time and welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is centered around Madden 21, tips and tricks to help you improve in the game, help you win more games, help you win more money, and just help you have more fun uh, playing a game that I love. I do that through a variety of different ways. One of the ways I do that is through tips and strategies, but another way I do that is through film studies. So if you would like to get me to uh, do a film study on your gameplay, all you got to do is send me your gameplay in the Discord. So for those of you that haven't already, make sure to join the Discord. There is going to be a section created today that is designed to help you have a place to file drop your gameplay so that we can do some film studies on those. So if you're interested in something like that, that would be awesome. I would love to get you guys on there. We also film study pro players and different things like that. Anyway, let's jump into the video here. So what are my predictions for Madden 21? Madden 21, I am so excited about it. The game launches any day now. And if you haven't gotten some of the live streams, some of the gridiron uh, notes that we've gone over and some of the strategies we've gone over with that, a link to those, those videos will be in the description of today's video. Madden 21 is going to be a, a game that I think a lot of us are going to enjoy. I don't think people are going to get that frustrated with this game. I think what what happens with Madden is typically, at least this is my this is just my experience with the game. They will basically put out a game like Madden 20, where there's a lot of new things, a lot of new issues, a lot of new challenges, right? And then what they'll do is they'll fix them in Madden 21, or at least they'll improve significantly upon them. So what were the issues in Madden 20? Well, one of the issues in Madden 20 was the fact that you could send, you know, basically really, really heavy pressure and flat routes. You, like if I try to throw a wheel route against a, a heavy blitz, it, it just, it, it wouldn't work as well as you saw right there. If I try to, you know, so if I try to throw a flat route against heavy pressure, like it just doesn't always um, pan out for me. The reason that's significant is because one of the best ways to pick up to beat the blitz is to throw where the blitz is coming from. One of the issues, and you actually watch like real NFL offenses, you know, they're able to do some of those things that you can't really do in this year's game of Madden, right? There, there's some some tricks and things you can do, but honestly the flat the underneath game just does not work like it should right the underneath quick game really is not there this year um, you have to do a lot to make it there as I uh, throw almost an interception and so that was always an issue right dime 146 cover two sink this is what this guy's running on me this this has always been an issue this season and so what they've done in man 21 is they've overcorrected and so what they're gonna be what you're gonna see in man 21 and hopefully they've corrected it just enough is you're going to see the pressure be able to get picked up a little bit better but not only are you going to be able to pick up pressure better you're going to be able to throw the ball in the flats a little bit better so that's a huge step like that's a huge step forward for the offense and my prediction is we're going to play a game that is much much more similar to madden 19 than it is to madden 20. Okay, so you're going to see a lot more, um, in my opinion, you're going to see more bunch. You're going to see more um, pass-based offenses, right? I think they're going to help with the running game. One of the other major issues in Madden 20 is pursuit angles on defense. I mean, you literally have to play a very, almost a perfect defense to stop a simple stretch run or inside zone run. And when I mean stop it, I mean you have to do that to stop it for like five yards. <laughs> Not necessarily that you have to, you know, you, there's still a chance that that thing's going to get out on you, especially in Mutt when you have all those amped up uh, abilities at the running back position. And so it just makes it, it just makes it a little bit more difficult for you. Um, and it really was a, a running year. I mean, everyone that won a competitive um, eSports event, right, MCS event, basically ran the ran a run-based offense in either Dime 146 or Dime 236. That's what you saw competitively. There really wasn't a lot of vari variance in that. 
and it was pretty much that all year long. The reason that that's significant is because I think you're going to see an overcorrection. I mean, when you were playing, if you guys remember back to Madden that 20, or I'm sorry, Madden 19, I felt like by and large there was, you know, decent amount of variation within what you would run. This year, I mean, straight up Oakland, you were either running Oakland or you were running, um, you either running Oakland on offense or you would run a uh, bunch. It was, it was literally almost that simple, right? I feel like my offense, you know, I built a spread offense out of Arizona just because I love the air raid. But, you know, if I, to be frank with you guys, um, there were there were times in, in the process of building this offense and now I wouldn't take it, you know, I wouldn't do anything different. Um, but there were times in the midst of building this offense to what it is today that I I had to force myself not to go back to the shotgun bunch. And I literally had to force myself not to do it because I just didn't think, you know, I just thought it would be worth it. You know, I had to put the time in, put the time in, put the time in. And now the offense does, you know, fairly well. And I think that next year it's going to do even better because the seams are going to always be tender in every Madden, right? If they, you could click on and user catch these, um, these streak routes right there, just like that right there, those four vertical routes, that's not going anywhere. You're going to be able to do that in Madden 21. You're going to be able to run levels. You're going to be able to run drags. You're going to be able to run. I think you'll see corner routes are going to be a little bit less toned down, but I still think corner routes are going to be really good. Like I really do. I think you're still going to see corner routes are going to, are going to make some things happen. What I hope happens because I, I think that they're going to be, they're trying to fix the underneath game, the underneath passing game. What I hope happens is the bubble screens become a thing because in real life, now, granted, they're a little bit better in college, but in real life, you know, if you're if you're blitzing everybody every down, how would you still be able to stop a bubble screen? You know, but in Madden, for whatever reason, you know, one person can shed like three different blockers this year, and it's it's just darn near impossible to to get um, to get what you want. Right there, I should have swerved him to the inside and outside. I also think that that uh, swerve catch is not going anywhere either. Um, if you guys like the swerve, which, you know, it's just user catching. That's really all it is. It's all it's ever been is clicking on, getting good positioning, and making a play with your user. That's literally what I do. Um, you know, and I'm not the only one that talks about it. I'm probably not even the best one at it, right? I'm probably one of the worst at it just because my stick skill has always been a challenge for me where I've always been a little bit better is the X's and O's of the game. So all that to say, those are some predictions. Now, what are things that you need to do before Madden 21 comes out to be most prepared? The first thing you need to do before Madden 21 comes out is work on, if you're not passing the ball, start passing the ball. If you're not passing the ball, start passing the ball. And here's why, you're gonna need you're going to need to throw the ball in Madden 21. I mean, I am guaranteeing T and you, you are going to need to throw the ball in Madden 21. What that's going to require of you is it's going to require you to learn how to read defenses again. If you have stopped, if you've been run based all year and you haven't been getting better at reading defenses, that is going to be a significant step for you. You're going to need to learn how to read the defense in order to be successful in, um, in Madden 21. The second thing that you're going to need to do uh, as you go about preparing is you're going to need to kind of start to think about what you want to do, what routes work every single year. So from Gun Bunch, the verticals route is going to be back this coming year, right? It's going to work fine because they fixed the flat route system. You're not going to get those overthrows or those you're going to be able to get those flat routes also to be able to get up field. Like I said, you're going to see much more of like a corner strike, um, gun bunch verticals, throwing the flat routes. I think flat routes will be back in Madden 21 for sure. So what you need to do right now is start thinking through, how do I throw flat routes? If you can get good at throwing flat routes in Madden 20, you're going to be really good at throwing flat routes in Madden 21. And then the third thing that I would say is you need to work on your pocket presence. These are things that transition year to year, right? There's a there's a new mechanic every year and how to cancel the drop back and how to do all that. But the part that does transition is just literally how do you manage the pocket? Where do you stand? How do you move? 
um, all of those strategies. And so on the offensive side of the ball, like those are the three things that I would say you need to do these right now before Madden 21 comes out. Start practicing these, right? It's very, very simple, very, very subtle things. But, you know, that's why I created the Arizona offense. Um, because the Arizona offense just does a really, really good job of putting myself in a position where I need to learn how to read the defense at a high level because I'm going to get blitzed more than likely and I'm going to have to make a read really, really, really fast, right? And with the way the user works, um, in regs it's a little bit easier, but they're going to tone that down. You, you're going to see in MUT even, the user is going to be toned down significantly. So you're not going to get picked. Like He's not going to be able just to just teleport to the ball and, and pick it off. You're also going to still be able to use or catch. You're still going to be able to do all those things. So those are some things to get you guys started, get the mind juices flowing. Let me know. Um, you can shoot me in the text or text me in the Discord or even just comment on this video if that's most easiest for you. But what do you think we're going to see in Madden 20, uh, one that we didn't see in Madden 20? And then what are your plans? What is your offense? What is your defense? What are the things? Are you going to be a pass-based offense? Are you going to be a run-based offense? What are you guys seeing uh, the meta being in this upcoming year's game? Again, guys, really, really excited about the about the potential that we're going to be doing here at the channel. And if you guys want to stay up to date with the channel, my channel is going to be uploading at least, at least um, two videos a day, if not three to four. My goal is to get to four videos a day again. Um, and to live stream every night. My channel live streams every night at nine or at 10 o'clock Eastern. So if you guys want to come by the stream tonight, you certainly can. We'll be live streaming, locking and loading into some action again tonight, getting ready, just getting reps, getting ready for uh, the next game. So really appreciate you guys. Again, join that Discord if you haven't. All the links are in the description. There's actually even a link to tonight's live stream in the description for you. Here's some videos that I want to make sure you check out before you go into Madden 21, and we will see you guys later.